video devo devotional january 16 2014 romans chapter 1 heavenly father bless those who hear this hear your word that they would embrace your word personally in their hearts and minds they would understand that you are speaking to them right now that you are touching them that you desire for them to grow more intimate with you for them to know more deeply your love your call and your blessings on their life jesus all for your glory romans chapter 1 verse 1 paul a servant of christ jesus called to be an apostle set apart for the gospel of god the good news of god which he promised beforehand through, uh, through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures concerning his son who was descended from David according to the flesh and was declared to be the son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness by his resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ, our Lord, through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the nations, including you who are called to belong to Jesus Christ, to all those in Rome who are loved by God and called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Meditate on that word. Take the time to read it, read it until God speaks to you. As I did that this morning, a few things stood out. Obedience and faith is what pleases the Lord. He loves when we step out in faith. And Jesus said to Thomas, Great are those who have seen the wounds that I bear, that I bore, but greater are those who have not seen and yet believe. For that belief, that faith is so pleasing to God and it produces an obedience that produces in turn great eternal fruit. And so look for those opportunities. How is God calling you to step out in faith, in obedience? Do you want that eternal fruit? Obey God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. It is not a fearful thing. It is not a, you need to do this thing. It is a, I have so much to give you if you will obey me. I am your God. I am your Father. And I know best for you. The other thing that stood out in line with that is verse 7. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And I just bestow upon you that peace in the name of Jesus and that grace. God is constantly pouring out his grace and his peace into our lives. So when you don't have that, and one of the fruit of the Spirit, so the Spirit of God lives in us, one of the fruit of the Spirit constantly working, constantly in us, is peace. Do we have it? Do we have it? And when we don't, my encouragement is that you'd stop and say, where is that peace? Oh, Father. Oh, Spirit, where, where is it and why did I not have it? That you would hear the voice of the Lord, encouraging you to let go of something you're striving for, to step into a situation where God is calling you to speak. And oftentimes I will not have peace because God is saying, this person near you does not have peace and you can bestow upon that person the peace that I've given you. Do you love them enough? Do you have the faith that will turn to obedience, that will turn to the fruit, that will come from stepping out and speaking peace and grace over somebody else? So Lord, I just Pray that every person who listens to this would have your peace and grace. They'd embrace your peace and grace. They have it in them through your spirit. Manifest your grace and peace in their lives. 
that they would know you and your love in a new and profound way. In Jesus' name.